Hi, boys and girls. How are you all? I haven't spoken to you now in a while. I hope you've been keeping well and been having fun while we're off. And um, we're still going to be off for another while, I'd say, because that um, coronavirus is still around. So what is the most important thing we have to do um, to keep the coronavirus away? We have to. Very good. We have to wash our hands don't we? And give them a really good scrub and don't forget our thumbs and don't forget up our arms. Well, take off if you're wearing a watch, take off your watch. Yes, that's right. You get your watch destroyed. So um, we have to do that to keep it safe. And mommy and daddy wear masks. And if they ask you to put on gel, you put on the gel. OK, so um, we are still talking about winter. It's still winter. Would you believe it? It's still winter. The weather is still cold and it's wet and it's dreary, but there's no snow. We had no snow. And maybe that's a bit of a pity because it would uh, we'd be able to go out and make some snowmen. So it's still winter and it's still January. January is such a long month. So we're in winter and we're in January. Now, the last time I was talking to you, we were doing some sign language. So we're going to go back over the sign. OK, and I want to see you all tell me you're happy. Show me. Are you happy? Are you happy? I'm happy. Oh, that's brilliant. We're all happy. What else did we learn? We learned birthday. And you know who's having a birthday next week? Roman from the morning group. He's going to be five next week. Roman is. So happy birthday in advance, Roman. Have a great time. And we are going to do birthday. Birthday. Happy birthday, Roman. Happy birthday, Roman. And now we're going to learn a new sign. And we're going to say hello to everybody. Now, it's very easy. Up the side of your head. Hello, everybody. Can we do that again? Hello, everybody. Now, it's out the side of our head. It's not here. Or we're not soldiers. We're not doing that. Or it's not down here or down here. It's here. Hello, everybody. So that's our new sign. Ha B, birthday, hello, everybody. Well done. So you can be practicing that, okay? Or oh, someone wants to know New Year. Okay, we do New Year, but the New Year is nearly gone. Let's look. Okay, happy New Year. Again, happy New Year. Very good. Well done. Now, what I want to talk to you about as well, I have seen and I know some of your colouring and you're practising with your pencils and your crayons and you're doing a really good job. So what we're going to do now is we're going to talk about holding our pencil properly. Now, look, we're supposed to hold, pinch our pencil, aren't we? Pinch it. That's what we're supposed to do. It doesn't matter which hand. You can hold it whatever hand you feel comfortable with. But you pinch it. Look, we don't hold it that way. Sometimes I know it's easier to hold it that way. And if you're holding it that way, that's all, all right. And But you practice now on holding it this way. And you know what's a very, very good way to practice? Guess what? What are you to get? Clothes pegs. I'll show you my clothes pegs. Oops. I have, look, I should go to the shed and get my clothes pegs because the ones we have are in the school and I had to get a bowl and I got this bowl because any bowl I have are, is too big, but you can use any bowl and it doesn't have to be a bowl. I'll show you in a minute. If you don't have a bowl, you can attach your clothes pegs to a piece of cardboard. So we get our bowl and look what shape is the top of my bowl. It's the shape of a circle. And you get a clothes peg. Oh, the first one I get is red. I have a red peg and I'm going to, look, pinch it. And I'm going to put it on my bowl. Will we get another one? Oh, what about this time? Look, I have a yellow one. And again, you pinch it because that's how you hold your pencil. 
and you put it on your bowl. What other colour will I get? I have a, what colour is this? Green one, very good. And I'll put that on my bowl. And what else have I now? Oh, I'm after finding another yellow one. So I'll put that on. And look, what's this? I have a blue one, blue. And I'll put that on. And look, I have a bowl with pegs on it. So how many pegs did I put on? One, two, three, four, five. And when we do our colours, I have a red one, and I have a yellow one, and I have a green one, and I have a blue one, and I have another yellow one. So do you know what we could do now, seeing I have two yellow? I could put all the yellows together. Look, and you could make a row of yellow ones. And then you could get a red one, and you could put your reds together. And then you could get another green one. Look. And you could put all the greens together. And what are we left with? It's all on its own. I'll get a blue one. And we'll put the blues together. And look. Green. Don't forget the pinching. Yellow. And From green, that one is it, but it's still green. What's the Irish for green? Gloss, gloss. What's this? Darug. And what's this? Boy. Well done. I heard someone say boy. And the last one, garum. The Irish for blue is garum. And when you're finished, you must. Tidy them away. You can now put down the ball and say, right, I'm off. Good luck, I'm off. Oh, no. If you're doing this at home, you tidy away like you do in school. So we take them off again and we pinch two fingers and into the pegs. Two fingers into the pegs. Two fingers. Very good. Now I'm taking off the yellow ones. Yellow. Yellow boy. What's this one? Red. Darug. Here's another red. No fingers only. Look, two fingers in your thumb. Darug. Red. Darug. What's this? Green. Gloss. Green. Gloss. Green. Gloss. All the time pinching. And now I'm going to put away my bowl with the circle at the top. And what's my bowl made of? Glass. And it would break very easily. But if you don't have a bowl, or mammy doesn't want to give you a bowl, do you know what I do sometimes if I'm really bored? If you have your own mug, you can put one around your mug. Look, that's my... What's that happened in my clothes bag? It's not broken, so it's all right. Right. There we go. You can put them around your mug like that. Same thing. If you have your own mug, you can put them around it. Practice. All you need. You don't need a whole look. Uh-oh. I better put away these clothes bags. They don't want to go on my mug. Just put them around like that. Okay. And again, go up. 
Bouillie, remember your pinching. Don't forget today is all about pinching. Only you don't pinch anybody. No, don't pinch anybody. No, it hurts. You want to pinch close pegs. I'll show you something that you can pinch now in a minute. And your Darug pig. I'll drink the last of my coffee. Yeah, it's kind of cold. I should drink my coffee when it's hot. It's like when I'm in school, I forget to drink it, don't I? And then I'm drinking cold coffee. Now, do you know what you can do as well? If you want to practice picking up things, this is great fun. Now, if you if it is a case that you are holding your pencil properly, and I know some of you are, you could get ask, you could get this. What is it? It's called the tweezers. Now we've one in school. It's you know the big one, the big yellow one. Same thing, only this. Mammy wouldn't have that because it's only for schools. This one. If Mammy, well, maybe she might want to give you her good tweezers, but maybe she has an old cheap old tweezers around the place. Don't go looking for Mammy's good tweezers now. What does Mammy do with the tweezers? She could do her eyebrows. Yeah, pluck her eyebrows. Tweezers. That's what that is. But you know what you can use your tweezers for? Picking up things. And it's, do you know now, it's, do you know what it's very good for? If you had small little things around the place to practice picking up with. In school one day I saw one of the boys trying to pick up the rice, the pieces of rice with the tweezers and he couldn't pick it up because the tweezers weave is too big. But I'm going to take this in the next day so when we go back to school so I can pick up the grains of rice with the tweezers. But you can get the tweezers and you can try picking up anything around the place, okay? Now, let's see, I have a broken close peg here. Look, I'm able to pick it up because, and you hold the tweezers the same way as you hold the close peg. Two fingers and the thumb. And it's great practice for your holding your pencil properly. I can pick that up. Look, what have I now? to pick up a piece of paper. You'd think I'd have something smaller to pick up, wouldn't you? If you had pegs around the place, something, you know, the little pegs we have in school, you could pick that up. I've nothing smaller. You could pick up small bits of paper. So use your tweezers for picking up things. All right? And that's, anyone can do that now. That's good fun. Mammy might be able to organise that. She cut up, could cut up bits of paper and you could practice picking them up. And you know what we used in school as well, picking up? All right. Peas. We used we pick them up, we pick up the peas as well, don't we? And we move them from jug to jug. Now, if you wanted that with rice, you could try it with the rice. That will really be good practice, won't it? It certainly will. But remember, don't go off now getting the tweezers without permission. Because it might be mammy's good tweezers. Now, do you know what I want to talk to you about as well? Cutting. Have you done any cutting? Anyone do any cutting at all? What do you need to cut? I know you need a knife, but that's for bread. Why would you cut paper with? You wouldn't cut it with a knife, would you? A scissors. Look, I have one of our school scissors. Now, if you have a scissors at home like this, and it's a children's scissors, great. And some people have other scissors, and they kind of the the blade here is covered. That's fine. Now, do not go and get mammy's scissors because scissors are dangerous. So, and mammy, you only go cutting with mammy's permission. Do you hear me now? Don't go and get the scissors. The scissors in mammy's kitchen would be miles too big and you wouldn't be able to cut. So what you'll do is if you have a scissors, you can get it and go cutting. And you know why I want you to go cutting? And that's more of it. Look. You have a big size in the scissors and a low, a small size. And, you know, we say we cut like, look, a shark's tooth. Is that what this? Now, let's see, can I find something to cut? I had it a while ago. I hope oh, I have it here. So you could go cutting. Now, some people can cut and they can go all over the place when we give them the shapes. But some people are only snipping. And that's absolutely fine. And if you snip, this is what you do. 
you get your bit of paper, you make little snips like that, because that's how you start to cut. And the stronger the paper, the better. Telling this now for anyone that's watching this, that's going to be helping you to cut. The stronger the paper, the better. It's easier to cut. It would For a child that's learning to cut, if you were only learning to cut, you will find things like newspaper and things very difficult to cut. But if that's all you have, that's fine. So you just snip. And you know, I just had another thought. If you have a piece of cardboard like this, I just remembered. I'm back to you again. Look what you can do. You could put your clothes bags around it. I only thought of that now. Look, you can put clothes pegs on anything, can't you? Look, you could even put clothes pegs in your hair. Look, this, I mean, look like that. Pinches stuff. Oh, I don't know. It pinches a bit. So clothes pegs are very, very good. All right. And scissors for cutting. And you know what you're going to be doing with the scissors? Carrot, or it's not carrot. Oh, Tracy. Tracy is the person who's in charge of our arts and crafts in school. Isn't that right? She is the person that goes to the press and gets out all the paper and the paint and the glue and the scissors. And she always has a plan made out for the month. And guess what? She's after sending you stuff. She's going to send you stuff all about cutting. So I will send it and Mummy and Daddy will see it. Is that all right? And if you want, you can have a go at it. Is that OK, boys and girls? That's very good altogether. Now, what we're going to do as well now is, do you know what I need to do? I need to call the roller. I never called the roller since we finished. And do you know what the roller is? It's yes, it's we check who's in school on the day. We'll be sure the mammies and daddies because you know how it is. That is our roller book. And inside the roller book, this is the morning session, are the names of all the children. And we have to mark off the days they're in and the days they're not in. It's not right, boys and girls. And what do we say when I call your name? And if you're there, what do we say? On shot, isn't it? And if someone wasn't there, what would we say? Us law here means they're not there. Us law here. Because when you go to big school, you'll be saying on shot to the teacher. And us law here means they're away. So where's Tracy? She's us law here. Where is Caroline? She's us law here. Where is Mary? Mary is us law here. But you're on show and I'm on show. We are here, aren't we? But they're not. Now they're doing other things. They're doing other work at home because we all can't be together. Isn't that right? So I am now going to call. Now, this is the morning, boys and girls, and I want you to listen to people that are in the school in the morning. And I want to listen to your name. And the minute you hear your name, you, you must say it really loud because I'm far away from you. You must say, Uncha, which means you're here. Is that all right? OK. If you think someone isn't there, you can say, I'll stay here, can't you? OK. Now I'm going to call and I'm going to start with the fions. We have two fions in the morning. We have two fions, Fion Guider and Fion O'Sullivan Daily. So I'm now going to call the two of them, OK? Fion Guider on shot. Fion O'Sullivan Daily. Hi, Fion. On show. Now, hi, the two fions. Are you well? Great. Now we're going to, we've two Mias as well, but we have a Mia in the morning and a Mia in the afternoon. So this is the Mia in the morning. Mia Conlon, what do you say, Mia? On show. How are you? Now we've Susanna on show. And Susanna has a brother, David. Hi, David. On Sure. David, I want to hear you really loud and Susanna. OK, I know you're only across the way from me, but I still need to hear you. OK, Nicole on show. Sure. Oh, very good, Nicole. Callum out loud. Can I hear you, Callum? On show. Sure. Archie. Hi, Archie. On show. Sure. Lottie. On show. Sure. Are you all better? Delighted to hear it. Rowan. On 
Sean. Sean. Come and talk to Sean. How are you, Sean? On show. Anthony. How are you, Anthony? On show. Roman. On show. And happy birthday, Roman, for next Wednesday. Alton. Hi, buddy. How are you? On show. Alex. What does Alex say? On show. Well done, Alex. You're very busy. JJ. Hi, JJ. Haven't seen you in ages. On show. And Lila. Hi, Lila. On show. And there are morning people that are here in the mornings. So now I'm going to call the names of all the children that are here in the afternoon. OK. And we will start with the other Mia. Mia O'Gorman. On show. Hi, Millie. Millie. On show. Avery Rose. Show. Oren. Hi, Oren. Show. Abigail. Hi, Abigail. How are you? I haven't seen you in ages. Michal. Hi, Michal. How are you, buddy? Paulina. Hi, Paulina. What do you say? On show. Are you still singing around the house? Well done. We miss your singing. Adam. Hi, Adam. Bella. Hi, Bella. Nathan. Hi, Nathan. Are you well? Lily. Hi, Lily. Are you enjoying your time off? We hope to see you soon, Lily. Mary. Hi, Mary. How are you? And then we have Art. Hi, Art. How are you doing? And I want you all to say unsure. Very, very good. That means you are here. You are absolutely brilliant at this. And because when you go to school, was there, who did you say us law here to? I'll call the teachers now and you must say us law here. Tracy, us law here. She can't hear me because she's us law here. Caroline. Us law here. Mary. Law here. Mary is us law here. Joan. Who said I was us law here? I am not us law here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm on shop. I'm saying on shop. Tommy on shop. I am here. I'm not us law here. I forgot to tell you something. Silly me. I forgot to tell you something. What do you do when you're with a scissors? How do you hold it? Like a bunch of? What? Did someone say nettles? You don't hold it like a bunch of nettles. A bunch of? What? Leaves? Well, maybe. We say you hold your scissors like a bunch of flowers so that you don't hurt anybody. Do you walk around the house with the scissors? No. You shouldn't walk around. Now, if you have to walk, you carry it like this. If you're going from one room to another, you carry it like this. So, yes, but really, when you're using scissors, like we do in school, you stay sitting at the table where you're cutting. And the only thing you cut is what mommy gives you or daddy gives you. Nothing else. Don't go cutting it. I will hear it and I will not be happy. Do you hear me now? So hold your scissors like a bunch of flowers and practice your cutting. And I'm going to put some, some cutting stuff up that Tracy has sent to you. All right. And I'll tell you, you're going to practice because when we come back to school, after that silly coronavirus is nearly gone, we have loads of make and do to do. So the better we can go and glue. And if you can cut, you can get glue and you can cut your piece, glue your piece of paper onto a sheet and bring it to school to show it to us. And we can put it in your folder or we can put it up in the notice board or whatever you want to do with it. Is that all right? If you get the chance, OK? If you don't get the chance, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Because mummies and daddies are very busy. Some mummies and daddies, they're working. And some mummies and daddies are still going out to work every day. And you're still going to your child mind or your nana or wherever. And sometimes you're working from home. And that is really difficult. 
So don't be annoying them, okay? They will do stuff with you when they have a chance. Is that all right? And we look forward to seeing you. Okay, so now what we're... Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you. Mary is gone baking again. She is. She's doing another video of baking. I don't know what she's making. I think it'll be a surprise. Yeah, it be, no, she's not going to make anyone's birthday cake. No, it would take too long. Not at all. She's going to make something like this, something nice, a treat. Your brownies were fabulous, weren't they? So we'll see when she has the video made. I will put it up again. You can have another go. Is that all right? Okay. And did you like Caroline's story about the bear in the chair? Yeah, it was really good, wasn't it? Yeah, it was great. I just can't put you up another story. Yep, yeah, I'll put up another story for you. Maybe you do it over the weekend or something. All right. Maybe if the weather is if the weather was wet or something, you might sit down and listen to the story. Is that all right? What am I doing? It's just my hand. I'm going to put it down now. OK, so what I'm going to do is I am now going to finish and I'm going to blow all of you a kiss. So stand back or I'll blow you over. Get ready. Big puff. <sighs> Catch that kiss and I'll see you soon again. Sloan. Sloan, everybody. Bye.